John coming at you from the bunker, from the Heroes Boot Camp barracks here in lovely Iraq. All right, guys, I want to jump into one of the most effective, easiest, quickest ways for you to have an effect in the world is to contact your congressman and or your senator. A lot of people know that this is something that they can do, but not a lot of people really do it. Highly recommend you take advantage of this opportunity that you have to contact your representatives. It's one of the most it's one of the most effective tools we have to let your representatives know even if you disagree that with them, even if you didn't vote for them, to let them know what you think, what impacts are on your community and on yourself as a constituent. And they're, they, they actually listen to these things. So one of the best ways I've found uh, to figure out how to get in touch with your representative, I'm just gonna pull up a couple of websites here. And one of them, it's the easiest I've seen, is called Common Cause and it's commoncause.org. And so if you go to the homepage for Common Cause, uh, you can just scroll on down to the bottom and it, it, it's it got a few things you can click on to see uh, stuff that they do. Then it shows where there's Common Cause branches inside the United States. It's there in like 38 states or something. And as we scroll on down to the take action section, it's got a little spot that says a little button that you just can click on it says find your representatives where it says get involved click on your find your representatives and all you're going to do is you're going to put in your address so in this case i've already got an address uh put in and uh you know it scrolls down and it, it, it gives you everything if you say view all it, it it gives you everything uh federal of course you were starting off that with the president and the vice president and then it gets to your uh, your two senators that you've got for your state, and then it gets into your representatives, and based on your address, it um, it shows you who you can get in touch with. And it goes on down to the state level, governor and uh, state senator and state representatives. Uh, so it's super easy to find them. Now, we'll just pick uh, we'll pick we'll, we'll pick Jean Shaheen here. And if we just click on her homepage, it'll come up. And it's usually pretty easy to find um, their addresses and their, their phone numbers and stuff. But usually what you can look for is office locations. Now, all these representatives are going to have a Washington, D.C. Uh, location, but they're also going to have offices inside the state. So in her case, um, She's got, it looks like, uh, one, two, three, four offices inside this, the state of New Hampshire. And so Manchester's kind of in the middle. Berlin's way up north in Coos County. Keene's out to the west. And then Dover's over the east on uh, right on the border with Maine. Now these, I've been told, and I can't really confirm it, but I've been told that contacting one of these local offices is actually a super good option. Uh, I guess because it's just smaller and not quite as busy as the DC office, I guess just more capable of, of responding to you. But you can get in touch with them at any of those office locations. Just while I was looking for some of this, I happened to run across what I thought was a really good little guide on how to uh, communicate with your uh, representatives. And it, believe it or not, it comes from the American Psychological Association. So you just Google American Psychological Association, their websites comes up. And actually, I think what I Googled was how to write a letter to your congressman. I think that's what I what I put in there. But this, this pops up right here, how to write a letter or an email specifically to your congressman as you go on down here it's got nine essential tips for writing your congressperson and uh, just some some guidelines and I thought they were pretty good uh, write letters only about the issues of greatest importance to you uh, and that way you don't dilute your influence and basically you don't become the guy who's who's contacting them all the time uh, but 
it's pretty simple stuff. You know, be direct, be factual and courteous, be helpful if you can, be informative, you know, tell, tell maybe you've got some extra uh, or some particular expertise and uh, you can impart that to your representative. Be constructive, be appreciative of their time for taking a look at, at what you're writing them or if you're calling, uh, what you're talking to them about. Be inquire, you know, be inquiring, uh, ask them questions. Hey, how do you plan to vote, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and then be specific, you know, what's the relevance to you and your town and your family and the, you know, the people that are immediately in your area. Uh, and then be concise. Don't drone on and on and on. Uh, try to keep letters and emails to 500 words or less. And obviously keep uh, phone conversations short and concise and constructive. It's one of the simplest, easiest things you can do. And it's a super uh, effective action you can take in the world to try to make it a better place, to try to get your government under control. Engage with your government. It's a great way to do that. So I highly recommend that everybody take the time to write your senators, write your congressmen, and you can do it at the federal level as well as the state level. Remember, state level is the stuff that's going to affect you on your in your day-to-day -day business more than just about anything at the federal level. So just keep that in mind. So engage with those local and state uh, politicians, office holders, and representatives uh, as well. And... That's all I got for you tonight. Until next time, I will see you later. Bye. Hey, everybody. John and Stacy from Semper Savage. Hey, y'all. We are a veteran-owned company. We're family-operated. And we are making some of the finest salad dressing and marinade on the planet. It's all natural. We're using the finest ingredients. Like extra virgin olive oil with no added water or sugar. No food science chemistry craziness. It's homemade salad dressing and marinade in a bottle. And you're going to love it. <laughs>